How's it going, Reef Keepers? Hope your weekend is going well. Um, just wanted to give an update on the uh, white bug situation. Um, those white bugs that I found crawling over my acros. I made a little video on it if you want to check out the situation and you know see me zoom in on some of them um, and kind of hear my plan for eradicating them. But I wanted to talk about um, the response of the uh, coral farm where I received these. So, well, first of all, I had one of my subscribers um, who's got a great channel. Uh, Reef, his, it's Reef Keeper, and I think it's K. I'm sorry if I messed it up. It's Reef, and then like KPR, I think his name is. Um, he said, "Hey, what did what did Title Gardens, which is the coral farm that I got those frags from, what did they say when you told them?" And I said, "Oh, well, it's just a pest. This happens. There's only so much you can do." I, I said, "This is just not something I would complain to them about." And he responded back and said, hey, you know, all due respect, I think you should tell them. Like, you know, I think that, you know, they would want to, like, treat their tanks and, you know, you should let them know. So I thought about it and I was like, yeah, you know, um, it's possible they don't know. You know, I mean, it's, they're busy. They got a lot of things go going on, obviously. Um, they're a great coral farm, very reputable and tons of people buying. Um, and I just had a big sale. So essentially what I did was... Um, I just, I had communicated about the order because it had been shaken up pretty badly in transit with one of their agents there, Ben, I think his name is. And I, I forwarded that email back to him and I just said, hey, um, just so you know, here's a couple photos. These frags, especially this Bali Green Slimer, have white bugs crawling all over them. And it was, you know, very obvious. And, and uh, you know, I expressed to him, hey, the other Acropora frags that I had in the tank, I only had a couple of them, but they're doing really, really well. So I don't think, you know, these bugs originated from those frags. I think they came in on your frags because um, they're really infested. And to his credit and to Tidal Garden's credit, he emailed back and he's like, look, these are, I believe they're called ostracods is what he called them, ostracods. And they are otherwise known as seed shrimp. And, I mean, I looked these things up and they're prehistorically ancient and they have survived everything <laughs> the ages of the earth have thrown at them they are super adept at survival so it makes sense that my conventional coral dip did not put a dent in their populations on these little frags and uh he said he confirmed to me yeah interceptor works great he also confirmed that you know about every quarter tidal gardens does a major interceptor um, dose across all their systems to knock these things out because you know they're they're prevalent now and he said unfortunately we're like you know it, it's just far enough away from one that you know I mean we're getting shipments every week obviously these things repopulate really quickly you know we've got another interceptor bath that we're going to do across our tanks you know coming up here in a matter of weeks but you know, we feel really badly about this and we're just going to refund your entire order. And hopefully that covers the cost and the effort that you have to put into destroying these. So basically part of the reason I'm making this video is to give them due credit for being upstanding people. I told him in my response, I didn't expect that at all. Like, you know, and I, and I told him flat out in my first email, I didn't expect, I don't expect anything from this. I'm not demanding anything of you. I just want you to know this. And they still did the right thing. So to me, that's very laudable. Um, that's a business that's that's a business that's operating with the big picture, the long game in focus, rather than trying to, you know, it, it, not cut corners or anything like that, but just take the money. And, you know, well, this guy was understanding. So, you know, hopefully he comes back and we'll just keep the money. Instead of doing that, they said, look, like, this is a pretty bad infestation on that frag. We're really sorry. You know, you caught us between treatments. Let, let us give you your money back. And I also told him, just so he knows, that money that came back to me, like, yeah, some of it will go to Interceptor. But also, some of that money is going to make its way back to them because they treated me so well right? It was an imperfect order. They fixed it and went above and beyond. So I'm going to show that loyalty back to them now and, you know, reinvest my dollars in their business. So 
Anyway, um, to my subscriber, Reefkeeper, great suggestion. And also just for anybody who runs into, you know, serious pest problem like these things that are really hard to knock out that require you to go pursue interceptor from like an exotic veterinarian and really go out of your way. It's probably worth, you know, bryopsis is one thing. If a plug comes in with bryopsis on it, that's a, that's a different thing than this. If a serious thing like this is going on, I would now say, yeah, let them know, let them know what's going on. Um, spreading, spreading the knowledge of what's happening helps everybody. So, all right, guys, thanks for listening.